Good evening. Erie Police investigating what they're calling a murder-suicide. The Erie County Coroner says a deceased married couple was found inside a home on East 28th Street. Chelsea Swift has been following this story. She joins us now in the control room with the very latest developments in the investigation. Chelsea. Jen and Sean, I spoke with the victim's 19-year-old son who understandably did not want to speak on camera. He says his mother was a kind, hardworking woman who did not deserve to die like this. Erie police responding to a call in the 900 block of East 28th Street just after 11:30 Monday night. When they arrived on scene, they found two deceased victims in a bedroom, a 37-year-old woman and a 45-year-old man. According to the Erie County coroner, the deceased were a married couple who both suffered gunshot wounds to the head. At this time, police believe the man first shot the woman and then turned the gun on himself. We spoke to the individual that was in the house, and obviously we gained a lot of insight as to um, what, what, what happened at the scene. Um, we were also able to um, take a look at that crime scene, and uh, it was pretty evident uh, as to uh, what happened. We also spoke with one of the witnesses, the victim's 19-year-old son, who called 911 after the shooting. Shootings. He says his parents had a difficult relationship. Those at SafeNet say they work with individuals in abusive relationships in the hopes of preventing tragedies like this one. The key is if you're not feeling safe at home. If you're not feeling safe at home, uh, we suggest that you come to, again, SafeNet so that we could talk about it, so that we could figure out whether it's a domestic violence situation or perhaps something else for you. For those in an abusive relationship, Johnson emphasizes the importance of having a safety plan. Each time you're in a situation, it's important to come back and readdress your safety plan. So just because you have one safety plan doesn't mean that it's your long-term safety plan. You should come back and readdress it if something else pops off. And Erie police plan on bringing back the crisis car this summer to handle domestic violence situations. Jen? All right, Chelsea Swift live in our control room. Thank you.